In this video, I'm using the Biblo mold in the new IOD holiday collection to create some beautiful ornaments um, for Christmas. I'll be showing you three different versions. So thanks for joining me. I'm Karen from Rustic River Home. For the first one, I'm using Barnes Bee Queen resin because I want to add some tint and it is easily tintable and has a simple one-to-one -one mixing ratio. I'll combine equal parts of part A and part B and add some black pentart resin tint to get a deep color. I'm just mixing it well and pouring it into the mold using the popsicle stick to spread the resin evenly into all the corners. Again, I use Pentart's black pigment tint in this Barnes Bee Queen two-part resin, which is easily pigmented. The resin is cured and I'm ready to demold. I'm a bit disappointed with the result. Uh, it is the first time I'm using the tint and I think I didn't add enough. So I'll paint it black anyway and try adding a bit more next time. I've made two sets of castings and now I'm going to sandwich a pendant bail between them, securing it with Pentart's Express Glue to create a 3D ornament. I'll repeat this process for all four castings. Once the glue is dried, I'll paint both sides of the castings in black using Purico silk paint in carbon. I'll paint the ornament cap in antique gold using Pentart's metal pigment powder mixed with Pentart's pigment fix. and I will go ahead and paint all the caps on the ornaments. Once the paint has dried, I'll apply Pentart's Antique Paste in Antique Gold to the surface, wiping back the excess with a paper towel. Now it's time to add the stunning tinsel transfer to the ornaments. Just simply cut out your design, remove the backing sheet, rub gently with a transfer tool and burnish it when you're done. Easy peasy. Now onto the second set, I am creating two sets using Barnes EasyCast resin to attach them back to back forming a 3D ornament. Barnes EasyCast resin cures in white giving it a solid base. I'm just shaking both containers then mixing equal parts of part A and part B stirring thoroughly with a popsicle stick before pouring it into the mold. Once it's cured, I'll remove the castings and set them aside. And I am repeating the resin process, but this time I'll add a pendant bail to the uncured resin and place the previous casting on top, securing the bail between the two layers. I'll repeat the same steps for all four castings. Now 
now with four beautiful 3D ornaments that are ready to be painted. I'm using Pentart's metal pigments. The pigments come in powder form and need to be mixed with Pentart's pigment fix or varnish. And I'll be using the champagne color for this one. Now I'll paint all the ornaments for this pigment mixture. For the ornament cap, I'll mix up some antique gold and give it a coat. When the paint is completely dry, I'll apply Pentox Antique Paste in Antique Gold using my finger, then wiping away the excess with a paper towel. In the end, I switch to the paintbrush. Once everything is completely dry and cured, I'll add some transfers and I'm using the Yuletide transfer pad from the new release and I'm selecting four small designs to finish off the look. After removing the backing sheet, I'll gently rub the transfer onto the casting with a provided tool, lifting it as I go to ensure it's adhered properly and if it's not, I'll lay it back down and rub it some more. Once it's fully adhered, I'll use the backing sheet to burnish the design, making sure it's securely in place. I'll repeat this process for all four ornaments. The third option for something more plain, I used Barnes Easy Cast Resin once again, and I made two sets. I glued it together with a bale sandwiched between the two molds to create a 3D ornament. This time I used Pentart's Heavy Body Gel as a glue that worked really wonderfully. This is the glossy that dries clear. It is completely dry and ready to be painted and I'm using Purico's Calico Silk Finish Paint and I'm applying two coats. Paint is dry and I'll be adding Pentart's Fine Line Crackle Varnish to the ornaments and with a clean dry brush I'm applying a layer of component 1 and when it is completely dry I will be adding component 2 with a clean dry brush. To highlight the beautiful cracks, I'll be applying Pentart's Antique Paste and wipe it back with the paper towel. The colour I used is Antique Gold. To tie in with all the other ornaments, I'll be painting the caps with the same antique gold metal pigment powder, but this time I will mix it with Pentart's glossy varnish because I have it open. Lastly, a solvent-based sealer is required and I'm using Pentart's Glossy Varnish for this. And I am so happy with the porcelain look of this beautiful ornament. It is so easy to make your own ornaments with the new IOD molds. If you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on future DIY projects.
thanks for crafting with me and I'll see you in the next video.